Hi everybody, I am back inside again. So, um, I had a little bit of a rainstorm today, and plus I went some, uh, errands, I guess you could say. Anyways, um, great news, everything is up and running on my cameo. It's just my name, Katie Peters. Um, it's under Caitlin Pet underscore. Um, that's all th I guess they can fit my entire name. Um, Katie is actually my nickname that I go by. So, with that in mind, um, I just want to say um, please visit my cameo if you're interested in it or not and um i'll support you in any way i can when answering your questions uh if you have any at all um because it's important to support each other during difficult times i know how hard it is for everybody as of right now but my prices are incredibly cheap on my cameo uh one is like two dollars and the other one is like nine bucks so i kept everything incredibly cheap because i am not a noticeable person but i will say this the reason why the prices are a little bit high is because of processing fees from cameo and that's the reason why but uh if you have interesting questions uh not only about you know getting support counsel and advice from me but it's also i could talk about anything with about, you know, the film industry, other films, whatever, you know, my personal opinions about them, what was, what is specifically going on in Hollywood, even though I don't quite live there, but, um, just think of it this way, as, like, an outsider's point of view, but that's all I can say as of right now, but I hope everybody's doing great today. Um, I haven't heard anything much about COVID as of lately. Um, I know that the last couple of videos have been about Cameo and me trying to set it up and all this other stuff, but I don't think, uh, COVID is really going to be a, uh, a pandemic situation because we're already technically in the pandemic, so... I don't know what could eventually happen in, uh, like I was saying before, in the fall or winter season. It could, you know, uptick in infections. I know that um, a couple of my family members have gotten re uh, re sick and went COVID again, and they had to go back to the hospital. And a, one of them had to be in on a ventilator. I don't know how bad his situation was. I don't even know if he had like a breakthrough case or maybe he didn't have the vaccine at all, but it's really uh their choice and I don't I haven't seen much of my family upstate, so that's the only reason why it's kind of hard uh cuz I haven't seen them for a long period of time. They don't come down to visit, you know, my family at all, you know, maybe once in a while. The one uh, group of relatives who live like a couple of hours away will come and visit us, but not all the time because they're all busy and that's just how it is. It's always been like that. So, um, I saw Hurricane Lee looks humongous and terrifying. Like it's a Hurricane 4 and it goes up and down from... Four to five, then four back again. I don't know if and when it's going to hit land. Um, they said it could be next week, quite possibly. Um, but um, I'm nowhere near like where Hurricane might you know, hit. Um, I think we're just having a couple local thunderstorms as of lately because it's supposed to uh, do that literally all this week. Uh and I'm including into next week, so I don't know when it's going to light up or whenever that would be. But hopefully it'll get a whole lot cooler because it was literally like almost 95 degrees this morning. It was, you know, 
just really, really hot. And for the morning hours, it's like not very good and healthy. And I certainly don't want to be in that type of situation where, you know, um, like I'm shopping with my dad and I had to put in the groceries in the car because he usually stays in the car because uh, he had he has uh, health problems and plus, you know, his amputated foot. Um, but that's the thing. That's something that um, I have to do because he has really bad balance problems. Like, I don't want him having, like, a heart attack or something like that because, you know, I just don't want that for my dad. And, you know, it gets really, really hot when I load the car up. So, um, today wasn't, like, uh, like, grocery shopping. We had to do some errands, um, that sort of, like, stuff. But, anyways, so, <clears throat> I want to get into... Um, more about that, well, cameo in a way. I know that people are going to say, well, um, I'm not an independent filmmaker and, uh, it doesn't really pertain to me. I totally get it. I totally understand. I'm not forcing you to, I'm not pressuring you to, you know, do that. However, you still have to market your cameo because that's what it says because that's how you get people who are might be interested in it because on my tiktok i got up to like almost 250 people who watched my video i'm not saying all of them are gonna go straight to cameo but at the same time um that's what they say that you have to market to get people to uh Go watch your stuff on Cameo to see if they might be interested in it. Um, so, like I, like I said before, the prices are incredibly cheap. Uh, you can ask me anything. It doesn't really have to be... You don't have to be an independent filmmaker. You can be someone who's interested in filmmaking. It doesn't really matter. Like, uh, if you want to talk about studio movies, big budget movies, independent movies, whatever... That is going on. The union strikes. If you're non-union or union. Whatever. It doesn't really matter. But I understand that times are tough for everybody. Um, but unfortunately. Cameo has processing fees on their website. Which is the reason why. They had to keep their website running. And to pay for stuff. So. That's all I really have to say about that one. Um, all the pro proceeds. Go to. Uh. Hopefully, uh, my first upcoming movie. I was also thinking of, um, using another website. It's sort of like Patreon, but it's different. I think I was talking about that in my other video, uh, for my slate financing. But let me just say this, uh, about Cameo. So, <clears throat> sure, the prices are cheap. And... Um, all the proceeds will go to, uh, what I, whatever I need to do to earn to create, you know, short films, proof of concepts, whatever. It's just that I have no other job and I take care of my, uh, disabled parents. So I will say that I don't want people to think, oh, I'm being lazy or something like that. Unfortunately, I have other stuff that I can't really disclose because it's my own personal information. But um, I don't have that type of um, film industry in my area. Of course, I constantly say that all the time until the cows come home. But I... The reason why I'm doing this is that I want to keep pursuing this uh, career path because it's the only way to do that. And unfortunately, there are no such things in this particular area that I could basically do. I mean, there's a lot of like businesses that are shutting down and it's really getting hard to get involved in jobs and um, of course, if there's any type of emergencies or medical crisis involving my disabled parents, then it could be a really, like, 
tiresome and difficult situation, both financially and just, um, I'm relenting, like, overwhelming sadness to deal with because I have no other relatives or friends near my area and that's why I'm doing it. So, so all the proceeds from my cameo will go towards, um, trying to get my own projects off the ground. Um, I'm also putting in my own cash money into this. So don't think that, oh yeah, I'm just relying on cameo and most likely this other website, but that's really not going to happen because it's going to take some time before uh, everybody goes on there. So I just want to just say, you know, um, like I said, I'm not forcing you to, but you do have to market your cameos because that's what it says on your account, especially when you're not a noticeable star or creator to people. That's what happens sometimes. So, um, like I said, we could talk about anything. Movies, pertaining to filmmaking, uh, you need advice, support, you know, um, counsel, you know, dealing with difficult and trying times that we are already in. I think that would be great for the both of us. But like I said... Like, all the proceeds will go towards, you know, uh, the creation of my own movies. Uh, and going back to this particular website that I want to make, it's not similar to Patreon. I already looked at Patreon, and I'm not giving them 8% of my revenue. Because it just isn't going to happen, because I'm not a noticeable person to anybody. And I have tried over the years with free websites, but the only problem is, is that they don't have um, uh, marketing tools, uh, but this one really does. Uh, also, they don't have uh, text-savvy people looking at your stuff. Um, and also... Uh, there's no processing fees whatsoever with this new website, which means I could make how uh, each price is that I want to make per month or get this per year. Because Patreon doesn't do that at all. They just do per month. But um, it's called Ghost, which I think is really, really funny because I like horror movies and, you know, Ghost. <laughs> LOL. But, um, it just looks, you know, really interesting. I have heard and, um, watched a couple of videos of people who have actually used Ghost. So, um, like I said, they just actually started about, like, a decade ago. But their, um, business actually went up literally last year and they created the, the dashboard as of this year. So, I think it was a good thing that I came just in the nick of time, in a way. I haven't really signed up as of right yet, but I'm going to. And it's free. You can design any type of website you want or domain name and all that type of stuff. So, I don't have to worry about uh, other things as well. I do uh, both month monthly memberships. Um... And also yearly memberships because they do ask you for the basically the same exact thing because you still have to pay regardless for this particular website. They're a nonprofit. They're strictly independent. They don't have investors or shareholders to worry about. And like they said on their website, like I said before in my other video, no bullshit. And that's why I like. So, um... It just really took a big interest in me um, because Patreon, a lot of people use it all the time and uh, they're also creators. Maybe they have created, uh, you know, many, a few other movies before that, but they're not really highly regarded type of popular people. So that's the only problem that you're going to deal with 
when it comes to making Patreon, and then they take 8% of your revenue. And also including transaction fees and many other fees that they have to take off, which could go up to like 12 to 15%, which is what I was looking at these different like blogs and YouTube videos of how people are, are getting on Ghost as of lately. And I'm also following the CEO of Ghost because he just gave out more information about uh, his website. And he makes more, I mean, the creators actually make more money than the actual site does. And the site actually makes $5 million and the creators make $10 million. Now, I'm not saying that I'm going to get $10 million because it just isn't going to happen. Because I'm not really a noticeable name to people. But there have been, uh, I think, a few YouTubers, including the guy who wrote um, Don't Look Up. Uh, he also wrote the script, and he was nominated for an Oscar. He's also on Ghosts as well. So, um, they're getting a whole lot of revenue over there on that particular website. It's just that it took a long time because in 2013, like, uh, they only had a couple people working with them in, like, 36 grand. So, they also came from Humble Beginnings, and they talked about the reason why they created Ghost in the first place, it's actually on their website. And it's under, like, Ghost 5.0. Um, but I'm, I'm really happy that uh, they got it made, of course, you know. But their website is definitely intriguing me. Um, I did look at their monthly subscription and yearly subscription for the actual website for creators to, you know, keep their content on there. Um, and it's very, very cheap. Like, the monthly subscriber, uh, subscriptions are, like, uh, more expensive than the yearly subscriptions. And the yearly one is, like, below 10 bucks, which is, like, yay, me. You know, pretty awesome, right? So, what I'm gonna do is, is that, um, as of right now, with, um... Everything that's been going on as of lately with my banking and, you know, the banking fraud that my family has gone through. Uh, it's not looking so good because uh, they've been taking out money ever since I've been furloughed by my job. And eventually I had to resign from my prior job. And unfortunately, um, I can't... Uh, uh, enter my credit card information anymore. You're probably thinking, well, don't you have a whole lot of money on there? And I really actually don't because, um, you know, they just take out $12 per month and dealing with my difficult circumstances, it just makes it really hard, uh, to actually find a job willing to hire me that will, you know, let me deal with my family situation, but after I resigned from my job, that's when my dad got sick and they had to amputate his foot and I didn't know what was going to happen. Um, and then my mom got sick pretty much, um, during 2020, 2021, 2022, and even as of this year. So it's been really, really difficult. My mom has been disabled since I was nine. And my dad has been disabled since 2013. So it's been really, really hard. Because they constantly go in and out, out of the hospital. They need help uh, with, you know, daily chores, which is what I do. And um, I don't have anybody to help me, like I said before. Because that's the reason why um, I decided to do the cameo and potentially this new website. In order to, you know, keep pursuing this path because, unfortunately, there's nothing really here to do. There's no resources. Like, nothing. I've tried over the years to get any of my projects off the ground and nothing has ever worked. So, and also, like, sure, there are rich people, like, down the street. But the only problem is, is that 
there's not a whole lot of people who actually understand making and investing in independent movies. Because they're just going to say to me, how about you just go and kick Sir Indigo? And I really don't want to do that. So it just becomes hard. So I've just been relying on, you know, cash because as of right now, I mean, this isn't to say that I don't really have money. I do have some little bit of money, but I don't have a lot. And also, um, I was thinking of doing uh, alternative banking, which is what I plan on doing because especially through Cameo, um, it's not something that um, I want to talk about. But I was thinking of putting my PayPal account on my YouTube page. But the only problem is, is that um, I don't want to do that because that's my personal uh, stuff. And I was thinking about it. But, um, of course, I hear all these type of uh, stories regarding PayPal. So, um, with Cameo, I think it just makes it a whole lot easier to gain a whole lot more money that way. And I don't have to deal with banking or any of that shit because... But I still want to have cash on me in case of emergencies and stuff like that. I don't want people to think that, oh, I hate banks or whatever. It's just that, unfortunately, I hate dealing with these constant fraud cases that my parents are dealing with. And I never liked my bank account whatsoever. There's really a whole lot of banks in my area that are closing down. And most of the buildings, I hate to say it, are crumbling down. Not to be like... Uh, over exaggerating, but it's definitely been happening a whole lot more due to the banks closing down, and it just really you know freaks me out. It terrifies me because I don't know what could eventually happen to the banking system. Of course, you know that's the thing. So I do keep cash on hand. I do keep you know PayPal, but you know I'm still trying to find alternative banking methods because I don't want to go through a, a corporate bank anymore because I'm tired of having like $12 a month being taken out of my account when I have basically no job because of my difficult situation that I'm already in and there's no like nonprofits here in my area like there's really nothing so that's the thing oh uh, and people usually say, oh, how about you just go to churches? Like, it's basically the same ass thing. I don't want to do that either. And um, they can't really help you with your medical, with my parents' medical situation. Like, we're not actually starving. We're not actually, you know, going through hardships. But if, if it ever got to that certain point, of course I would. But as of right now, I don't really need anything from churches and I haven't been to a church in a very long time I mean if you think about it it's been at home church which is 24 7 365 days a year and you know whatever um so I'm not exactly the perfect Christian to go to church I tend to be spiritually home and you know pray often but uh, I don't really ask for handouts or anything like that. Like, no government aid. No, like, food stamps. No nothing. Um, but, yeah. That's the reason why. And, of course, all these other jobs in my particular area, they don't pay very well. And also, uh, I have dealt with this before when I was trying to find a job. And then my parents got sick. And they weren't very supportive of it. Because they basically said that, well, if your parents get sick, then then that's not really my problem. You wouldn't have to take a bunch of sick days. And then uh, once all your sick days, you know, run out, then you're going to have a problem if you really do get sick or whatever. But that's the thing. And that's totally out of my, you know, 
particular situation because I, like I said, I don't have any type of help whatsoever. So that's the reason why I started this cameo account to basically keep on, um, maybe be able to create my first movie or maybe a slate of movies, but it's not just going towards like an actual financing of a huge movie, like at all. Like, there's certain things I do want to get or, like, buy, um, which is the air wall. But as of right now, I don't know if it's going to work out for me. So it's going to, you know, take its time. And that's the reason why I decided to do the subscription service. Um, so that could be a great reason why. I don't want to use patreon because i don't really they tend to only support creators who actually do have followings and i don't have a whole lot i only have like below like 5400 people plus i don't know the exact number but that's the reason why so as of right now it's not looking too bright um for well not for Cameo, but, uh, not doing this whole bank thing, and it's just hard to find jobs in my area that, um, really understand what I'm going through, and they're not very supportive of that particular reason, because you had to be there, like, every single day, and there's some, like, businesses here in my area that are closing down like a ride day just shut down uh down the street and it's no longer there anymore so there's really nothing i can actually do um it's just you know a very sad situation that i'm in but i just want to keep pursuing this career of being a filmmaker and that's really all i had ever since i was a kid but it's just that I don't have that type of money to travel out to L.A. It's too expensive. Like, I would probably not even survive. But that's the reason why I decided to, you know, start my cameo. And probably, most likely, this subscription-based web uh, website. Similar to Patreon, but it's called Ghost. And um, I think it does monthly and yearly subscriptions, I think. Uh, according to what their website says. So, I'm going to probably start a free trial, which is basically two weeks. So, maybe it works out. And then when it gets to the price tiers, hopefully I had that type of money. But, um, everyone wants a while, you're going to see me, you know, talking about Cameo and all that type of stuff. Um, if you can't really afford the Cameo, then subscribe to my YouTube channel. But that's really all you can really help me with. But I understand that people are going through some tough situations. Um, but yeah. So, um, because I was thinking of doing paywalls for um, some of my proof of concepts, uh, I, movie ideas I want to do. And, um, I think this ghost website is very affordable. They're free. It's just that you have to pay subscriptions to be on there, which is great. There's no processing fees whatsoever. So I'm hoping that maybe people will go towards, uh, my ghost website more often than my cameo. But if people start supporting both, hey, that could really, you know, help me out. And plus, I don't have, like, a lot of... Not that I want, like, big type of gear or anything like that. But I was also thinking in the near future, um, merchandise, which is something that I really want to do. Uh, especially when it pertains to my production company and distribution company rolled up into one, which is, like, Gatecrusher Pictures. And it's a studio. And so it's like studio merch that goes towards the making of my movies. 
I've been looking at different merch stores, but they're very expensive, uh, especially in upfront costs. That happened to me the first, I would have to say, a couple years ago because um, that's what I was deciding to do, but I was going to do it for my first movie that I was thinking of doing. But unfortunately, I decided to change plans because I'd rather do the merchandise right after I make the movie because then it will be so much easier because the concept, because the movie is basically done and then you basically could put an image from your movie onto a, like, t-shirt, whatever, to support the movie. Um, but to create merchandise for, you know... My, my studio is really something that I want to do, but uh, the costs for it have been really, really high as of lately, especially on like sites like Spring, and I'm starting to see more often people set up their own websites for it, but um, there's another merch store that, merch, merch store website that I want to do, so maybe that will help me out um but that's probably it the su subscription but in a way it's not really crowdfunding it's fan funding it's people that believe in you who are willing to you know basically sacrifice their own money to you know believe in the type of movies that are the type of content that you're willing to create for them that they might be able to watch and support and you know buy merchandise and other stuff but, you know, it's really, really hard when you're basically the team of one. And that's basically it. I have no other employees or partners or whatever else. So, it just makes it easier for me to do. But it's going to be especially hard with the merchandise situation because I don't have uh, that type of, like, um, space. Or, like, supply area. Um, maybe I could do it in my old sister's room. But the only problem is, is that we have turned it into uh, my parents' medical supplies storage room, in a way. Uh, because everything is basically in there. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to have enough room. However, if I go through a website and they had that type of room, then maybe it could work out. But I just have to try it out. Um, I don't know what my subscription prices are going to be because I just want to look at some stuff. And like I said before, I just want to go through a free two-week trial. Maybe that will help me, help me out to make my decision. And hopefully I make, you know, a little bit of money on Cameo. Um, I'm not saying that I'm going to make a whole lot, you know. Um, but hopefully it does work out for me. I still haven't uh, put my cameo video of my introduction through the filmmaker friends, but I don't know if they're going to be able to support because they still have to make their own movies. So, I don't know. <clears throat> like, I don't know what everybody's particular financial situation is, and that's the reason why my prices are incredibly small. Even though that I'm not really noticeable to people. But a lot of my filmmaker friends are, you know, also struggling as well. So, maybe they will, maybe they won't. Um, but I have supported them, even though I can't really, like, donate. You know, whatever. But it's just like, with my difficult circumstances, it becomes much more harder to deal with. So, I don't have, like I said, help. Or resources or anything else or anybody so that's all I can say for as of right now um, what's another thing I want to talk about oh the studios I read an interesting article I think it was in deadline or some other type of website um, Basically, they were saying that the studios was thinking about doing more foreign content. And I'm just like, how are they going to do that? Like, like just reading parts of this 
particular article was just, you know, hilarious. Because if they really want to become more independent and not rely on the unions, and it's very similar to the actors and the writers since they're not getting a whole lot of revenue back, and they won't either because there's a lot of, like, shady-ass behavior that's going on on both sides. So, according to this article, I don't know what website I forgot, so... They were basically saying that, you know, I think it's time for the studios to become more independent and leave their union. And it's just like, okay, but what about the actors and writers who can actually financially support themselves? Are they going to leave their union? Because it's similar to that. Because once the actors leave their union, I'm talking about the top-notch A-list superstars and the writers and everybody else who's affected by this. So, what do you want to do? You want to, you know, pick it? Or do you want to, you know, still make jobs for yourself? Or, you know, you still want to work through the studio and streaming system even though they're not paying you shit? I mean, it's not really difficult, like, at all. Because they're not going to do that. The studios are, you know, basically wasting a whole lot of money. I mean, they... They get tax rebates and from tax incentives all the time. So what are they going to do with that type of money? Because you could still keep tax incentives and rebates from prior movies and streaming services. So what are they going to do with that type of money? It's very interesting because I'm not really a tax accountant. I don't really know how that goes. So it's just very interesting. But... Another reason why, you know, actors should also contemplate of leaving the union if they want to continue making big budget movies. That's the only way. Or get the interim agreements. But it seems like SAG is giving the interim agreements to major stars who basically show up at picketing lines. And I bet you that's one of the reasons why. They're like showing up in solidarity and... They're wearing, you know, t-shirts and all this type of shit. Yet, you know, they show up for one day for picketing. So it's very noticeable to me. And that's also very shady and fishy in a way. So they could say wherever they want and how they support, you know, fellow members and all that type of shit. They actually really don't. They just want their projects out in the open. Because... That's what most audiences tend to support. So, it's either become more independent or still rely on the studio system and streaming service system. So, that's the only way that people are going to be able to create more money for themselves. Is to go through that independent route. That's the only way. So, I just feel like a lot of... um. These lower tier people don't really actually understand. And like I was saying yesterday about this too, like, um, like female filmmakers in a way, they're also producers. One of them is an actress mainly, and the other one is like a female filmmaker. And I'm very supportive of their, you know, work, but on their Patreon, it's like totally ridiculous. And, um, of course, they, they have that particular fan base. But they don't have a whole lot of people on uh, their website or any other social media accounts. Like, they have more people than I do. But they can't get, like, more than, like, $390 uh, dollars per month to keep supporting their movies. Even though that they have made prior movies that have made their money back, even though the budgets have been, like, incredibly low. But, the only problem is, is that, like, some of their movies that they still want to create, um, is basically mostly comedy movies, and they don't really make a whole lot of money. And, uh, I don't actually know if they're gonna be fully, like, comedy movies, or, like, are they gonna be dramas, romance... Like, I don't know what other type of genres it involves, but that's the thing. So, they're going to be stuck with Patreon and having to de deal with the 
uh, 10 to 15% off of their uh, revenue on Patreon. And that's just, you know, crazy. So, I think, of course, go try it out. I don't know if you're going to like it or not. I'm going to try it for the next, like, two weeks because they have a free trial. So, I'll just, just try it out until the price tier comes up and see if I'm going to be able to afford it. Um, and, but basically, the reason why I want to do the paywall thing is because I don't want people to see my actual work. Because, um, that's the thing. It's not something that I want to show to people because, um, like I said in my other video of, you know, people who have, uh, stolen work from me and that's it. But, in a way, people are supporting you. It's sort of like fan crowdfunding in a way. I mean... Fan funding, not crowdfunding. But they're creating a longevity to support you, whatever it is that you wanted to create. And also, I'm putting in my own money as well. So, there's that. It's just that I don't really have a place uh, or other people to rely on. And it's just basically me. And that's why I decided to uh, do the cameo in this potentially new website but I don't know how long it's gonna last because like I said I'm not a noticeable person to people and that's the only thing that's gonna really hurt me in the long run so I just feel like like I said many times before I'm stuck and I don't know what to do it's not that I'm confused I just basically don't know what are my next steps because I'm not popular to people. I've tried for so many years to get my projects off the ground. Just like other people. I don't have, you know, many type, types of resources. Like, I try connecting to people to ask them questions. Like, whatever. Like, doing freelancing work in a way. Nobody wants to help me out. Sorry, you have no previous experience. And it's just like, well, I can't get on any on set. We don't have a film industry here. And it's so beyond hard. And I understand that these are independent production companies. And they have uh, limited funds. And I totally understand that. That was years ago. Back in 2013 when my, my mom and my dad went through basically hell. Uh, in and out of the hospital. And I was trying to figure out how to, you know, keep going with this career of mine. Even though it's like extremely dim no let's not say dim more like darkened because that's all I feel because I have no other support and um nobody's willing to you know help me out and for many years I didn't want to do crowdfunding because it only pertains to a couple months and you ask for money for one particular movie but I don't want to do that and I was very nervous, but in a way, I'm not pressuring people. I'm not, like, forcing people to uh, give me money. It's really up to them to make that personal financial decision. So, um, yeah. And Cameo looks great, and this new website looks great. I just don't know if people are going to support me. But the yearly subscription for this particular website, instead of paying, what was it? I think it was 12 bucks per month or even up to 20 bucks per month for certain websites. But to pay below 10 bucks or whatever is really, really good. But first, I need to try the free trial type of thing. But I will still talk about my experience with dealing with Ghost to see what happens. Uh, it's called, I think it's ghost.org. I don't have the website in front of me. Um, but I think that's what it, what it says. But I don't know. I just don't want to use Patreon because everybody else is using Patreon. But with this one, it's basically free. You could... Uh, you also own your own data. 
you also own your customer's email so you can send like newsletters, which is great. Um, they give you a dashboard. There's no processing fees whatsoever. Like you basically had to pay a yearly or monthly subscription, which is basically great for a whole lot of people who are currently financially struggling right now. And that's what other creators have basically said on other prior like blog websites. And it was quite interesting because most of them said that, you know, um, I get a whole lot more revenue and uh, new members for this particular website. And also, you don't have to become an actual member. You can actually get on the on the person's website and actually, you know, donate or pay for like a subscription. So I was thinking of doing that. So if this doesn't work, then I I don't know about putting my PayPal on my YouTube channel or whatever, because not many people go on my YouTube channel. But, I don't know, for security reasons and purposes, I really don't want to do that. So, um, that's the reason why I was thinking about doing this website. But, I don't know. But, I still have my Cameo, and I'm up and running. Uh, my prices are like $2 for uh, personal videos, and I think $9 for business videos. So, yay. Um, I mean, if you're interested in it, if you can't donate, I certainly understand not forcing you to, not even pressuring you. However, I still have to market my cameos, just like any other website, even my YouTube channel, even, even my TikTok. But that's the thing. You can't force people to do that. And you can't force people to subscribe to... Or even like your channel. I've already done that. Like, I'm so tired. It's been like a couple of years and nothing has worked. All my, you know, except for TikTok. TikTok is like literally making more followers than any other social media account for me. Which is weird. Because, I mean, whatever reason, I, I think people, I guess, like what I have to say. I don't know. But sometimes I don't even talk about movies on my TikTok, like, at all. Because, um, I guess people don't like me for some reason. Like, uh, at the beginning stages of my TikTok and my YouTube channel, I'll try movie reviews. But, uh, they're not ac actually movies that have actually come out in movie theaters. Because I can't afford to go. That's the only problem. So I just use movies here in my bedroom. But nobody seems to care. I did it for like about a month. Nobody was watching. Nobody was liking what I have to say. So that's the thing. I just feel stuck. And I don't know what to do. But. I think with this new website. I think it could help me you know, gain a whole lot of more subscribers than probably Cameo, which is fine. Or, you know, if people want to donate to both, hey, that's cool too. But at the same time, I have no other choice. This is all I really have. It's really the last re resort because I tried con contests with a million dollars or maybe $10,000. I tried grants. I tried getting into certain film festivals, but it's just not working. Nothing is. Because I have nothing to show for. Like, they just want people from film school, and I couldn't really go to film school. I went to a boutique center in high school. So it just doesn't really help me out. And I just feel really stuck. And... That's the reason why I start, you know, doing this cameo thing. And maybe I'll get someone or nobody at all. But it was worth a shot. Like, I'm experimenting. So I think that's a good thing. I don't know what's going to happen. 
I just feel stuck. I don't know what to do. But, yeah. So I'm just hoping and praying that, you know, something works. I'm not expecting, like, even five people. Maybe one. Maybe zero. Whatever. But... I'm trying, but nothing is working. And like I said, I'm not pretty looking. I'm not, like, perfect. Like, my eyes, due to my eye condition, isn't really that great. My teeth are overcrowded, and I'm overweight, and nobody gives a shit. That's just how it is. I have nobody to help me out. So, but your support will be more meaningful to me than probably anybody else in my life. So, that's really all I had to say about that. And, like I said, I think the paywall just really protects my, you know, content that I want to create. Especially for people who are actually interested in it. So, that's the only reason... And plus, I can't really get into rooms with investors or shareholders or whatever the fuck. So, I think this will help out other people as well. But, you know, um, that's all I can really say. Anyways, I hope everybody has a great day. Bye. Oh, and stay safe. Bye.